Hey, I'm Ryan Canelli. We're here at the Bronco Aftermarket Headquarters, where I've got a brand new 2021 Bronco behind us. So let's take a deep dive underneath the vehicle to see what's going on. Let's talk about wheels, tires, and suspension. The number one reason most people come into a four-wheel parts store is they would like a large tire option. The best way to do that is with a coilover. Now this particular coilover is set up from one to three and a half inches of lift. The neat thing about a coilover is its adjustability. Because we can move it from one to three and a half inches of lift, that means you can run as small as a 33 and all the way up to a 37. So let's talk a little bit about what's inside the coilover. So here we go. This is an aluminum bodied coilover. Up inside here is nitrogen, then there's an internal floating piston, below that is oil. And that's what the piston that dampers your suspension is valved inside of. And down here is a 17-4 stainless rod. We hard chrome the outside to reduce wear and tear on the shafts, which is important because we want long life out of the shock. So let's talk a little bit about this barrel-shaped spring. This barrel-shaped spring is gonna add a little more wheel travel and it's gonna give you more stability off-road. All the shocks from Ford WP Factory are vehicle-specific too. What does that really mean? Well, let's go in the old days. All of the shocks used to have one valving, and that meant that whatever you put it on, it was Super Duty or a Suzuki Samurai, it was gonna have the same ride quality. That's not true anymore. Now we take the vehicles out and we test them and we make sure the ride quality is gonna be as perfect in the pavement as it is in the dirt. The last thing I wanna talk about is this spherical rod end at the bottom. This will reduce flex by removing the rubber bushing. Now, the coilover comes packaged as a three inch lift, but if you want 3.5, you can adjust this over, but you're gonna need an upper control arm. Let's talk about upper control arms now. So the upper control arms, they have two functions. One of them is alignment. The other is high angle. So this has a high angle ball joint in it. And as this thing cycles through the suspension, we wanna make sure that you're not gonna bind anything and ruin any parts. We use urethane over here to keep your suspension under braking really stiff and have a nice compliant ride. So we talked a little bit about high angle and why you need that. Let's talk a little bit more about geometry correction. So as you lift your vehicle, the tires are gonna camber in and you're not gonna like that look. So in order to get into the factory geometry, we need to stretch the arm out and change the angles of it so that you can hit those factory alignment specs. Last but not least, let's talk about the adjustable rear track bar. The adjustable rear track bar will help you center the axle through your one to three and a half inches of lift. We talked about suspension, now let's talk about wheels and tires. We're gonna go with one of our favorite aftermarket tires, BFG, and we're gonna use a KM3, which is a mud terrain, and a 37 12 in a load range D. And that's gonna make for a more compliant sidewall when you're out in the rocks and just driving around on the street. In order to complete the look with the BFGs, we put a set of Method Race Wheel 310s on there. The 310 is a great looking wheel with a simulated beadlock and a classic six spoke design. The Method 310 we chose for this is in a 17 by eight. What does that really mean to you? Well, 17 is the diameter and that's where all the good rubber lives. The eighth is the width, and what that does is that sets up the look of the vehicle. Now you could have tens, but it's quite possible that that thing's gonna rub, or the edges of the rim's gonna stick out past the tire. So it all depends on preference. We went with an eight inch rim to make sure that the rim edges were inside the width of the tire and give it a tall, skinny look. So the 17 by eight has a plus 35 backspace. Let's take a minute to talk about backspace. Backspace is the hub face to the inside of the wheel and it establishes a relationship between the suspension and where the tire lives in the car. So we gotta make sure that relationship's perfect, otherwise the tire will crash into the wheel well when you turn. Well that about covers the 4WP Bronco upgrades with suspension tires and wheels. We can't wait to see all the cool modifications you make to your Bronco. Check back soon for more Bronco upgrades right here at 4WP, your Bronco aftermarket headquarters.